Shalom, brothers and sisters. Make no mistake, this is the end times. This is the end of the end times. We stand on the very cusp of the beginning of Daniel's 70th week, the final week of mankind, the final week in which he deals with Israel and wraps everything up, the end of a 6,000-year stretch of mankind's history and us trying to run the planet our way, 6,000 years coming to an end, six days preparing for that seventh day of rest. We are there. We are at the very cusp of being taken in the rapture in a moment in a twinkling of an eye, our Lord, who promised and is faithful, in whom we trust, our blessed hope, can come at any moment. There is no event still needed for the rapture to take place. It can take place at any time. It is imminent. So remember 1 John 2 verse 28. And now, little children, abide in him, that when he appears, not if, when he appears, we may have confidence and not be ashamed before him at his coming. Abide in him. Spend time in him. Be with him. Work in that relationship with him. Because we stand in a time of monsters and evil and darkness. We stand as monster hunters, light bearers, shiners of the truth of Jesus Christ and the Holy Scriptures. And standing and defending children and plucking people from the flames and pulling them out of darkness into his glorious light. Until... He decides that our race is run and he comes and collects his bride to himself. And we get to have that seven day, seven year wedding feast with our Lord. Seven years, which we will not have to endure the hell and the tribulation which is coming upon the whole world. Because we are not destined for wrath. We are destined to be spared and kept by him for a little while until all these things are over. And then we return with him. At the end of the seven years in absolute victory when every eye will see him and every knee shall bow. Stand and be happy for the things that we see that the prophets themselves wish they could have seen. And very shortly we can share all these things that we have seen and lived through with the very prophets when we go in the rapture. Stand strong, pray and spend time with the Lord God. Shalom.